Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. We're going to be doing a cast for the Brazilian League. BTS versus KGB, the best team in the uh, Brazilian League. KGB versus, or BTS versus KGB. Um, and we just got right at the beginning of it with the map. Let's see. Uh, looks like continents, continents, islands, fractal were all banned so far. So now we're left with Pangea, Seven Seas, and Highlands. Islands is gone. It'll probably be a Pangea map. I wish I would see who's doing. Oh, okay, it does right there. Okay. So, KGB, I believe, is team two. No. Hey, Brom. Oh, no, you're not subscribed. What's going on? What happened? Not enough points? Okay, we got All right, so far team one I can't remember who's on what team So we got Mapuche, Mongolia, and Coupe. First three off the board on a Pangea map. I don't know who's on what team though. That's the problem. I don't know who's on what team. We got Scythia as well. I can't remember. These names look familiar. So I think this is BTS. Um, on a Pangea, I don't know. 4v4 Pangea, pro no, I don't think it's a go-to. We, we keep seeing Mongolia banned though. Emma Puche, they're, they're strong. I think, I think team two here is BTS. Babylon's auto banned. Hmm. Quite interesting. Byzantium. Byzantium is a good choice. Mm hmm. I don't know who's. Actually, let's make sure I got the right logos going. Yep, right logos. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got a Gorgo ban with an immediate Catherine Black game. They knew, they knew exactly what he was picking. First thing, he knew exactly. Oh, hey Flame God, how you doing? Good day indeed, good day indeed to have a nice cast with my, my friends from the Brazilian League. Probably the best, one of the best leagues to to be even be associated with. I'm very happy to be casting as many of their games as I possibly that I possibly can. The timing works out for me, and I love getting the exposure for them.
I have terrible Portuguese. Um, Arween sent me like a little cheat sheet for some expressions like Bom Dia, Boa Tarde, yeah, the same ones. Hola, hello. Yep. And we got a Rome pick. I, I don't know who's on what team. That's what bothers me. I don't, I want to call the teams right. I want to say who's picking what. I think team two is BTS. But I, I don't know. <laughs> Donata, you're welcome. Oh, Spain. A Spain pick and then a Mali. We saw it at the very end. So one, two, two, one. So team one, team two, and then team one. The second round of bands. I'm looking through the cheat sheets. I'm sorry if I'm not like saying stuff in the game. Um, okay, we'll see who's up for bank team two. I want, I'm trying to see who's I'm trying to see the, the roster. I need to go down to their channels here. BTS and just look at to see who's. Okay, so Greed. Okay, so Team 2 is BTS. That's what I thought. I had a feeling that's that's what it was. They are BTS. So Team 2 in here is BTS. And then it's the KGB. I don't know what KGB is supposed to represent or symbolize. Or mean, I don't know. Acronym for yeah. So So BTS they banned Pericles. BTS also they, they chose um Rome and Spain. Spain first then or no Rome then Spain. And KGB they went Catherine and Molly. Rome's a really good pick no matter what. He's not a must have but he's a really good like default very versatile okay we're gonna see what kgb picks they went with russia oh russia didn't get banned oh that might well that's two that's two oh no russia is the ban oh idiot that's surprising surprising that it made it to the round two of bands i'm actually surprised I'm actually surprised. That it didn't get picked in the first round. Interesting. Which I might... <laughs> Realistically, is, is Catherine, Rome, Spain, and Molly really must picks? Or is Russia just not a must pick? Or do these... Do, or, or do neither one of these teams able to play uh, Russia properly. But given how I, I've seen BTS play, I, I'm sure someone would be able to play Russia properly. And that's such a strong pick to have. We see we see BTS this time around they ban China. They're not they're not gonna play China this time. They banned it. Hmm. Interesting indeed. So let's see what the see what KGB decides to do for their last one. They decide to go with Persia. Persia can get out of hand too, but that leaves Cree. Whenever I see Persia, I also automatically think of Cree. I think they have kind of the same play style, Cree and Persia. If you can play one, you can play the other. Hmm. Maybe a little bit difficult competing for, for viewers right now. We got Peppermint Butler streaming. We got Under streaming. Norm streaming. Three, three partners streaming while I'm sitting here casting. 
We'll see how it goes. We'll just do my best to make the content. Really? Arabia? BTS picks Arabia. They had Arabia in the last game that I casted, I believe. Arabia is strong. Well, hopefully the text is correct. As 20% of the science, faith, and culture to the city's output, I think that should be 25%. Arabia unique medieval unit. Bonus faith equal to the JC bonus of a campus district. Campus and holy sites receive standard JC bonus from other districts. So standards the is plus two. I feel like that should be together, not so that maybe that's why it's so strong now. That they, they get more of an adjacency, so you don't actually need all that. Uh, oh shoot, missed a gall pick from KGB and Teddy Rough Rider. Two actually good strong picks. So. Their team is Catherine, Molly. So they got this, they got one Sim guy there for the gold. They have, they have Catherine, they have Teddy Rough Rider to do some, some damage in the war. Catherine, she, she's a warmonger. And then they have a Gaul in there, maybe do all the culture boost, the civic boost. And then they went with, uh, BTS went with a Hungary and the Arabia. So they got Rome, pretty good sim. They got two faith. Faith religious leaders are super, super strong. They are they are ridiculous. It's quite annoying actually. I wish there was a there needs to be a nerf on Monumentality and or Grandmaster Hey Silent Fairy. And or Grandmaster's Chapel. It's just the, the snowball, the snowball from Monumentality into Grandmaster's Chapel is unacceptable in, in my opinion. It, it's, it's too, it's too strong. You can't punish, effective, you can't effectively punish a religious leader in the early game. You, you just, you can't. It, th this game, online speed multiplayer, it's very difficult to effectively attack somebody in the early game you got too many factors you have all the terrain you got to get through really in a 4v4 type setup you're probably not going to have a road to their city so you can't like speed up that movement um archer range units in general are just are stupid but you get some archers up properly and then you slap in a wall you're not doing anything you just it's not going anywhere and therefore you put a lot of effort in there. You may have made them get some units, spend some time away to delay them a little bit, but it doesn't it doesn't stop that snowball. That snowball continues. It you just slowed it down a little bit. What are they talking about? That's weird. Usually they just launch, right? That's usually how it works, they just launch. Huh. No, they, they click the launch and it, it's supposed to just launch the game. They don't, you don't ready up. That's never been a thing where you ready up. Stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age. That's extremely Damn, weird to be ready up like first that. Upright steps, you have come far. My bad. Now really sorry, guys. Quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. It's okay. At least this game got started literally within within 15 minutes. Like <laughs> Un unlike the CPL uh, CWC qualifier I, I was trying to do earlier in the week. Yeah, I think it was earlier. It was at the end of... It was on Sunday, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But 
it did the people it was wasn't even all the people there till like 20 minutes after like they were still waiting on one person like 20 minutes after the start time Ugh. at least it wasn't that that case okay looks like we'll start up here in the top left we'll look at woolen way up there no one's gonna find that for a while chinguetti granada why are the i don't understand why the city states like do this like it pushes city states to the outside like look at these clump of city states like that's not okay these clump of city states here then there's nothing else these need to be put more in please take a look at this and try to put some code in there to fix it please Kamasi, Singapore. Okay, we have America down here. So they're KGB. Next to Spain. So we got two, two members here. They don't need to get bumped in the report. They just need to get bumped a few tiles. So we have Spain versus America here. What's the continent split? So we're on America's continent. The continent split is here. We have Arabia up up north all by himself, literally by himself in a lot of time. So this is like a free sim game for Arabia. Uh, there is a Gaul down to the south that can eventually work his way to, to warring into, into Arabia, but Arabia is completely free sim. That's that's gonna be a, a game winner there. I mark mark my words, game winner right here. BTS, Arabia, free sim. We have Hungary over here, so he has a teammate over in this direction that can actually distract Gaul, which puts Arabia in an even stronger position now. Auckland up there. Um, we have Mali down here, so Mali free sim. It looks like. With, you have a you have a Spain that that can actually do some damage there, but there's America who's going to put pressure on them. So Mali's in a, in a strong position too. So we have a Mali versus Arabia. So two religious leaders, uh, two very strong religious leaders, I would say. Um, KGB, they're going to have a lot of gold from Mali in this game. Who are we missing? We didn't see Rome. Where is Rome? We have Catherine over here, and wow, Rome on an island. Rome literally settled on an island. Spawn on an island. He can get two more settles, but he has to go. He has to go naval Rome to get across the water and settle all this. But relatively, he's. Rome's kind of free sim too down here for the most part. So is Catherine. Cat a lot of people are just spread out on this weird Pangea map. So we're, we're gonna see we're gonna see a long game. We're, and I think this is where BTS will win. Like, what's up with this clumping? This clumping shouldn't exist. This is where BTS I think shines, is I think they can out sim their opponents no matter who they are. And this map I think is in favor, is in favor of BTS. They have a, a Rome who's basically able to do whatever he wants other than going the usual bottom tree. He has to go top tree. Um, we have Arabia up here doing com completely whatever he wants to do. All these choke points. I don't think he has much to worry about. Spain, Spain's the one who's in a little bit of trouble here. He's gonna get pinched by America and and Mali early, or not early, but he's gonna get pinched by them. It would be rough to see. We might actually see if the timing is right. We might actually see Rough Riders, Conquistadors, and uh, what's uh, Mali's unique unit called? I can't remember what their unique unit is. First with an M. We might actually see that matchup um, but the problem here though is they're gonna have competing religions here so he can't actually get religion into Mali he's gonna have to fight back in religion coming from there so 
his best bet is to get his religion into America, but America, it's Rough Rider, so they get that that extra bonus. Mamelon. No. No, that's Arabia, isn't it? Or theirs is men like a Mendelav or something. Arabia's. I can't remember. Yeah, so right now I think BPS is the favorite team uh, based off of the map. Yeah. Manda Kalu. I think that's that's Molly's. Mamluk is I I don't know. Uh, looks like we have Spain going. Oh, Rome's really going in the mining. Really, you settle on the coast. He's going mining. He's going mining. There might there might actually be a remap. Like they might. BTS might actually use a remap token. But I don't. If they saw what I saw, they wouldn't. They they would just let Rome do his thing. Arabia, I mean, they, playing as Arabia, this is actually what you want. This is exactly what you want. America, very difficult to to get some adjacencies. Yeah, I'm really gonna look around to here. We're going astrology immediately. There, two minings, three mining, and an animal husbandry. Yeah, I mean, everything's going great. Um, there was a little mishap on my part whenever they all picked their leaders. For some reason, I'm used to the host launching the game and it just puts us into it, but for some reason I had to click the, the ready button even though it showed there was still like lots of time left. I don't know if that's just, it was like a bug or if MPH was updated in a way that people ready up now. I don't know. They, they were a little bit of annoyed with me. Um, I think Flammo was a little bit, he seemed a little bit of annoyed that I wasn't readying up. But like I said, I'm not used to that. So going forward, I'll pay attention, make sure that I don't make that mistake again. Um, but so far the game just started, we're on turn five. Right, so we got a few people, yeah, um, I think when Rome realizes that uh, he's on this little island, he's gonna be like, oh no, I gotta, I gotta switch gears. I gotta get to shipbuilding ASAP. I mean, technically he doesn't have to, he can get two more settles, or you, you have this three cities initially, and then he could go back up, but he's not gonna be able to settle any more cities without shipbuilding. So he like he's forced to go shipbuilding there. Um, so looks like Spain isn't going for isn't rushing religion, and neither is Mali. So Mali is not rushing religion. Neither is Spain, which is odd. Yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna give him. Oh, you're giving him a technical. I guess, I mean, I guess you can't get that th that third one, but yeah, I guess that's fair to do technical. It's, in in my personal opinion, this is 100% playable. It's not ideal for Rome, but he can still get the three cities initially, go, and then before he gets into the next era, he can, he can, he can actually go into, uh, Chip building because he's not really near anybody, like land by land base. So yeah, he does have to like divvy. He has to change route a little bit to get to ship building, but it's not like he can't get. You know, he can maximize these. He can he, he can maximize this much here. He can get three cities. What's the meta strat in a four v four? Uh, pretty much the meta in in any sense um tanks tanks artillery cuirassier bomb or cuirassier yeah cuirassier bombards 
Got basically heavy cav and art and siege unit. That's kind of the meta. But it does change every now and then, like depending on where you're at. Like early game, it's it's more so about the the, the horses, like the light cavalry with um, some catapults. It, it does vary from from leader to leader, but generally the the general strat is you you go heavy cav siege unit and you just outperform you outperform your your neighbors. I mean, the teams here, they see, like, they see, Rome sees exactly what it has. They might want to do a remap. Like I said, personally, I think this is, this is 100% playable. It's, it's not completely ideal, but it's not, like, game ending. But we'll let them vote and see how it goes. If they're perfectly okay with playing it, I don't see, I don't see an issue with it. Um. If they're only if they're only going to play with it because they don't want to use a remap token, then I can see I can see using a technical. Um, but that's this is kind of what the tokens are for, right? For situations like this. And they all everyone voted against it. Everyone voted against it. The free roads. I mean, he settles there. The all the. Oh yeah, you're right. Will will the roads? Will they will it build roads? So if you put a city here, what or if you put a city like here, would it build a road up to the water? No, no. You can win any victory condition, but generally, science victory comes way too late. Culture victory is almost never going to happen because people are going to be able to counter it. Um, religious victory, it, that, that's never been a possibility in any multiplayer game ever. So you're realistically, you're just, you're down to Diplo victory and like a domination type victory. I think in order of, of what's possible or what's easiest is culture. Or not, um, Diplo, Domination, or force them to to end. Um, then Culture, Science, then Religion. Religion, religion will 100% never happen. So you're more likely to get a Diplo victory, Domination, um, Culture, Science, then Religion. So you wanna, so kind of like the meta is you wanna control all the city states you possibly can. You want to get pagodas if you're going, if you have a religion. Uh, you want to maximize your diplo favor per turn and control the control the congresses to get your to get everything. I don't know why it's still paused. I guess maybe they're talking. Maybe Arween is talking about something with them. I I don't see anybody in the server, so I don't know where they are. <coughs> Like how they're communicating with one another. Um, <clears throat> where was that? So yeah, the diplo the diplo victory is something you don't want to neglect. It is counterable. It it really is. And if you don't pay attention to it, you can really hurt. I think these these two definitely met. And Gaul, Gaul met. So actually, Spain Spain's in the worst spot here. He can get three v one, which is not okay. He can get triple he can get triple teamed here, but that leaves that leaves these two to do whatever they want. And the diplo victory controlling city states that's where Hungary kind of Hungary is really good at that. Um, he's he's set up to do just that. Then, like I said, your domination victory, which is just you getting. Basically, it's it's much better to go nukes than for a science victory. If that makes sense. Thank you for your follow, uh, Manrik. Manrik. Yeah. It's much it's much easier to go for nukes 
it's much more, it's easier to get the game to end if you go nukes and you start nuking your neighbors and taking cities and raising them or whatever than it is to actually go for a science victory because science victory takes so long it's super late um, yeah so the meta I would say don't don't focus Diplo but kind of prioritize a Diplo but your main thing is to is to out out sim and your opponent your neighbor and get to the necessary units so you can apply the appropriate pressure and and eliminate a player right i've seen i've seen 44 games where a, a player got eliminated much earlier than everyone else or before like relatively early in the game if you think about it and those teams have came back and still won i don't have a, a command for the for the tournament uh you can do one for cwc but I don't have one set up for the Brazilian League, but that's basically what the CWC is. They have a Discord for that. And then, um, but I'm doing, this is, these are qualifiers. These aren't official CWC games. These are just the qualifiers within the Brazilian League's community. And the way they, the way the teams are chosen is each community, they, they have some type of qualifying matchup where they choose, it's, it's how they choose who to send. It's how, it's how they choose who plays in the CWC and they have a structure of of who who does what you know or who gets sour money no falcon eagles no good CWC possibly who knows I, I'm not gonna get into all that that falcon business I wasn't really around for it and I didn't pay much attention to it I guess I, I had other things going on. I think we're gonna get a remap, Flame God. So I don't want to like go too much into talking about this map because it might be for nothing. Uh, I don't know the language. Quan uh, Dar. Want to ribs? I guess. I guess we're, they're remapping. I guess it's getting a technical remap. I I don't know. Okay. Okay. I wasn't. I didn't have up my chat when I was when I said that. I'm guessing you gave them the technical. Hey, Bex. Uh, there he yeah, like I said, I don't know much about the whole Falcon thing. It is what it is. Um, people, people do what they need to do to get their voice heard. That's pretty much how it goes. Um. So some of the new additions that I've been trying out for the stream, if you notice in the top corner, I have the Spotify song that's being played currently. So if you want to know what I'm listening to, this is all copyright free. It's all copyright free, Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Jack, who, Jack, who? There, there are a couple Jacks, maybe even a few Jacks. Um, so you probably specify which Jack do you think should be tilted. I don't know if it's Jack the Narrator, Jack the Ripper, Jack the Ripper. Uh, I don't. There we go. There's the lobby link. He doesn't have his Steam. So poor, poor Katu doesn't have his, doesn't have his Steam linked to his Discord profile. So I can't join off of his Discord profile. I can't, I can't click his Discord to open up his Steam to join that way. I 
I'm pretty sure I need to be first. You'll also notice that I have the Brazilian League logo right above the CWC logo. How long was that logo? The logo is supposed to be up for 30 seconds. The the Brazilian one and then the CWC one, it goes for like a little over a minute. I try to I try to keep um, everything off of the screen as, as much as possible. <clears throat> I'm ready to go whenever they're ready to go. Not waiting on me this time. All right, well, I guess we'll start over and we'll talk about the this new map. There's just so much to talk about in a game, especially early on. And you can't, you can't talk about 100% everything. You have to like prioritize what to talk about. And uh, as a caster, it's difficult to get that down. I feel like there's no like prof like there, there is no professional Civ Six caster, right? There's people who do it and like they got partner from it, but not like professionally, and they're not like doing it 100% of their time. So it would be nice. It would be nice to actually look at somebody and see how they how they do it and what they prioritize prioritize what they talk about and like I guess I could do that myself and try to get like a cheat sheet for me uh, that way I can like kind of have and I kind of just go through what to talk about at any given point like pick pick um, whatever is most important at the time Oh yeah, that, that Brazilian League is up. Uh, what's taking them so long? Should I have this going already? Come on, come on, come on. Wait, is that the same song over and over again? Oh, it just... Okay, it's... You see that? It disappeared. Why did it disappear? Oh my goodness. What is up with this? All right, I guess I'll close it. I'll reopen it. That's actually super annoying. Huh. Guess I'll just remove it and I'll add it again. It's a window capture, is what I'm doing. Yeah, see that? Like, that's the window capture. I have to do this. Of life beneath water. Do this. The great beasts of the Stone Age. 
To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Let me do it right on the fly. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Team do it right on the fly. Why isn't continents in the available map twice? It is. It is. But each um, each team they go through a a map ban phase, and that's one of the maps that nobody wants to play. So it almost always gets banned. Same with Fractal. You see the rare continents and islands. You see Seven Seas, some highlands, but ne you almost never see continents and Fractal. Let's go to the top here. Look at Fez up in the north again. Just think, just city states getting pushed to the outsides. That is not to me. That's not okay. That's that's a horrible thing. I don't like it. Um, we have Giants Causeway here, but no one near it. France up here, next to Granada. Pretty great. Mount Everest, kind of a little bit of cl not too much clumping, but France kind of choked off here, so they can kind of do what they want. Next to a neighbor here, Gaul. So Gaul and Catherine there, and Nalanda up top. Let's let's just go through the leaders first, then we'll hit up the. Uh, City states. All right. Well, now it looks like we have Spain, who's in a good position now. He's not going to get three v one. Uh, Molly, right there. So this map seems to be more favor for both teams. These choke points. Oh, actually, you know, America and Mali are in the same team. So, yeah, America there to help defend Mali. Arabia drew the short straw here. Arabia drew the short straw. Oh, hey, Metal Bear. Uh, hola. I gotta look at my little cheat sheet here. Good afternoon. But for me, Boatard. Boat, Boatardi. Or maybe good. Bon, Boa Nuit. Boa Noir. Bon Nuit is good evening, if friend. Or bon, bon, bon Nuit is good night. Bonsoir. Boatard. Boa Nuit. Boa Nuit. Ah, okay. Boa Nuit. Whatever. Uh, Hungary down here. Almost forgot about Hungary. So... Hungary, Rome, next to one another. Oh, first one. Boa Noichi. Noichi. Boa, Boa Noichi. Where, how's the Boa Noich? Boa Noich? Boa Noichi. Where's the, the C come into this? Okay. So we have, we've hit up all the leaders. We have Fez, Granada, Nalanda, Singapore. Bologna, Chinguetti, Chinguetti was in the last one too, Kumasi, Bolin, Candy, Hanza. I don't like how the city states are getting pushed to the edge of the map. That's horrible. I don't like that at all. There's like a ch. And it goes with I. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay, we're on. Still turn one. Tex, America. Alright, so last last map, Spain Spain was going to get 3v1. Could have gotten 3v1. He was in a very horrible position. Now it seems like Arabia is in, is in the horrible position, but it's not as bad because he can only get 2v1. And he's on America's continent, so they, I guess that works with, works out well too. 
<laughs> you have to work cut out teaching this one. You have your work cut out teaching this one. So is that bad? Um, I need to alt click this. I also need to cut it in here as well. There we go. Better. And I can move it. Move it back. There we go. Uh, Analyze me. Astrology. Astrology. Astro so we got more astrology goers now. So we, they got Rome in a better position, but they did put Arabia. Arabia is no longer in a recent position. He's actually going to be very different. He's going to get, pro he can probably get like a good six, seven cities, which is pretty strong to have. But eh. so we got the usual, obviously you don't have to really say it anymore. Scouts, except for Gaul. Gaul went Builder first. Everyone's going Scouts first, except for Gaul. Gaul's going Builder. Obviously, the, he's going into mining, just like Hungary, Rome, Wood. We have the animal husbandries. Nobody on BTS going to animal husbandry. We have two astrology goers. This time around, Spain's actually going astrology instead of animal husbandry. I mean, I, I spent time I spent time learning French. Like I'm not like fluent. But like whenever I'm like trying to pronounce something, I kind of pivot to my knowledge of French to kind of reference. And even though it's not a perfect, it's not a perfect, um, it, it, it's not perfect, but it, it helps me in my mind figure, figure something out. Just, you know, Hitting up past experience. So, did he go double? No, no way he went double. Eh. Possible to go double scout, yeah. True. I just, I guess it's just the laziness of, uh, of being an American. I don't, I don't really, I never really needed to learn a, like, become fluent in another language. I never really tried. I just I like I like the French language. I, I just like speaking that, and it felt good. But then I kind of stopped with education, and I kind of just moved away from it. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of work. It's it's a lot of work to learn a language. A right, double scout off Rome. Double. I don't think it was double scout. I think he got a free scout from a hut. He had to have. He's going into a settler, so three turns aren't four turns there. We'll see if he's um managing the production. Double scout on Hungary. So it seems like we're getting a lot of double scouts here. First. Yeah. It seems like every, almost everyone's going double scout, except for Gaul. Gaul He a hundred percent got a free scout because he was going No, he swapped. He swapped off the builder. Never mind. He went scout. Uh, then we have France double scout into settler. Yeah, I think I think everybody went double scout except Mali and Arabia. Yeah, everyone else went double scout except Mali and Arabia. I'm hesitant to say that America double scout. I think he might have got one, but still, I handle on Italian English. Yeah, you're. You're one of a kind. You're an amazing human being for learning that many different languages. It's, it's so beneficial to know to know that much. To be able to just speak and translate amongst many different cultures and communities. I'm jealous, but I also not going to put in the work. <laughs> I guess he had another remap vote. 
I should. I should put in the work, but... I don't know. I want to learn... I want to learn, like, Chinese or Korean. That'd be really nice to, to know. Maybe eventually, if I if I keep casting these games, I'll I'll just passively pick up on Portuguese and be able to speak speak it some somewhat. Eh, they all voted against anyway. They just follow the procedure, you know. It's just it's the way to do it. So, France met Granada, we're getting the Astrologies down next turn. Molly did not go, so he's going, he's playing more bottom tree. Playing for protection, so he doesn't know who's around him. Didn't get a lot of desert either. This is very minimal desert for, for Molly. He is getting... I can't click on that for some reason. What do you do with your life? Oh, is, is that just what you do? You just spend every waking moment learning and learning something, learning a new language. That's amazing. That you're dedicating your time to learning other languages. Mm. Like I said, learning another language is a lot of work, and you have to dedicate a, a lot of time to doing it. If you if you want to like get there quickly, right? I mean, someone could just passively do stuff for years, and you know, eventually get there. But if you like, if you set a goal, like, hey, I want to learn another language in a year, like, that's a lot of time. Oh no, he did go astrology. I thought so. He was getting that down. Got the settler out. So he went scout, settler, working on that holy site. I must be seeing something different on that. Holy site there. Spain did not put the holy site. He's going for that settler first. So, Settler there, moving over in this direction, probably settle right here and work the, the deer. Candy down there, candy's a good, good one. Look, I'm talking more with you guys than actually about the game. So you put a mine there, that's good. Going into bronze working. So, I think, he, I don't think he finished bronze, because, so, yeah, they're getting bronze in four. He must have got a free boost. You definitely don't want to get rid of the stone. The stone will, stone gives you a good amount, like, you see these two stone, you want to improve those and you put your opetum next to it right there in this spot. That'd be a really good opetum. These are good, like, you think these give each plus two. So that'd be a plus four opetum. And then he doesn't know about the, the niter, but he'll see, if you see these two here, like this is another good spot too. Probably put like another city down here and put an opetum there. Pottery, pottery. So he's going sailing. He's gonna play more top tier. That might actually bite him in the butt here. Cause I don't think he knows that America is over here. They they know where Arabia is. America now has an idea of where he's at. But he settled toward toward uh, Rome and Hungary. So depending on how this game goes. Arabia could be in a bad position with America and Mali. They're kind of choked off here. 
like Rome and Hungary. But if they can manage to get up there, they can probably put some pressure. But Arabia is gonna have to gonna have to outshine a lot of some other players because they they're gonna be in a tough position. They're gonna have to be able to defend, and they're gonna be limited. Like their monumentality is gonna be limited. It looks like he's gonna settle. I wouldn't settle on the cattle. Bought this tile, I was gonna put a whole, I guess, yeah, you can do a Saguba, do a Saguba diamond there. I guess, yeah, maximizes those, but you're not, you're not getting any production here. Like, the production, you need some production, right? Leaves a spot, yeah. It's rough. I don't know if that, I don't know if I would have made that my first sell. Like, cause you, have, you still have a little bit to get to, to the Sagubas. He's and he's going bronze working. Uh, America got oh that's that's a beautiful city. Boston. Two deer tiles. We have we have Rome forward settling into America, I believe. Get those roads going. All roads lead to Rome. All right, he he's doubling down on, on the naval. He's going naval Arabia. He might get a couple cities along this river to help def for defense and then kind of just stick to this coastline. But the thing is, he does that, he's just working his way into, into Gaul's territory. He's Arabia is all by himself, all by himself, and it's going to be rough. He's running a project already. Ooh, he must have got one done. Arabia Arabia has been getting that since astrology was finished. Doesn't have to finish the holy site, but Molly is running those projects for sure. He wants to lock down that religion first thing. He'll get it. No one's no one's gonna stop him from getting that religion. Okay, he moved there. He's hardcore settling into America. They're on opposite. They're on opposite continents here. So that means I'm pretty sure Rough Rider gets the plus five. He gets plus five on row when it, when attacking. Uh, so they're coming out. They have the horse. Mm. Yeah, Arabia is in a tough position. Gonna be. All right, we're gonna see the first religion next turn, I believe, from Mali. We have a slinger from Spain sitting on the holy site. That's a good spot. This is actually a really nice holy site. Got to keep all the woods though to keep the adjacencies there. It's what one, two. You can get rid of one wood tile. I would, I would probably do something on the lines of getting rid of like this one. And put in like a government plaza, commercial or campus. Try to get. I guess you don't need to. He's a geothermal. That's gonna be the campus spot that he uses. Um, unless he doesn't get bronze work, he can put it here. Uh, he's going. He's going pottery. So I think he is gonna. I don't think he went bronze. So he's probably gonna put that there because his team. Rome. Rome's gonna find iron. He's gonna know that it's there. He's settling toward for Hungary. It's th this mountain chain here really makes it difficult for them. Um, so we got the monument going up there. So one, one of the, one of the things you you decide with your your second settle, your your first expansion is to go builder or monument. Um, given that these are two three tiles in in the city it's an obvious choice to go monument you want to get that to going it looks like america took stone circles rome took craftsman god of craftsman fertility rights river goddess nice um nope he didn't quite get it he didn't get it quite yet river goddess so that's that's nice gets more faith adjacencies Um, I 
think that's everybody uh, picked. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good first uh, expansion. You get that road immediately. You can settle even further up. I'd get like right into here. Really, really lock down these areas and keep America from from expanding. You're gonna force you're gonna force America to expand to Arabia, but cutting cutting off this land is is critical. It's critical. All right, so his bronze working. Oh, at least these tiles are beautiful. Um, archery in America. He's getting archery. He wants to make sure that he can stop any type of push. Or maybe he's trying to do something with them. I'm not exactly sure. He's going toward horses, so he'll yeah, he'll wanna get the horses up so he can either push or defend. Like that's that's his cost unit that he's going for. Rome's going for obviously the legions. You kinda gotta pick, right? You gotta you, gotta, you kinda gotta pick what what class unit you wanna go for and go for it, right? You have you know you have the the galleys, which is pretty easy to get to sailing, uh, your horses, and then your swords, right? Spearmen, all that stuff. They're not, they're not good enough class units. So you kind of gotta pick which class unit you're gonna go for. Right? Usually, usually the, the the choice is between horse or sword. And generally, if you're gonna be more aggressive, you want to go with a horse. If you want to be more defensive, you go with a sword. Thank you for the follow, Taya. I'm gonna say Taya and then NCB. Rome, obviously Rome never gets iron. <laughs> it's always ridiculously far away. Uh, he probably he probably spawned here. I'm pretty sure he might have spawned here and he moved to the 2-2 uh, base. So that immediately puts away. I, I've, I've never seen Rome get more than one iron in near their capital right within within a ring you usually get one iron tile within the first ring that's that's usually what you get or are a, a second ring this so you said here would have been the second ring you never you never get it in your first ring almost never and you usually get it in your second ring so you can either move near it, like closer to it, or you end up moving further away from it. And you never get more than one. I've, I've never seen more than one. This one's third ring because I'm pretty sure he moved. He moved left one tile and settled there, I believe. To get a 2 2 base. Um, but even still, you get here, you get one in there, and you get in the third ring. Like, third ring's too far. You have you actually have to settle another city in that direction. Like, you have to settle a city on that one for a third ring. Realistically, I think, like, personally, I think Rome should have one in their first ring. That way, you don't have to worry about getting another tile or something, or buying a tile. Like, you. Or at least you should get two. It gets ridiculous, but that's, but yeah, that's where the team factor comes into play. He lets his teammates know, hey, where their iron is, they can work on getting their iron going. Uh, he's going for right. So, or uh, Spain is going to put off bronze or because I'm pretty sure he wants to put his his campus here. That's literally a, a plus five, one, two, three, and then the geothermal two. It's a plus five, and then if he puts another district here, like a aqueduct or something, that will make it a plus six later down the line. Yeah, so you let your teammates know. Um, unfortunately, he's gonna have to work alongside, right? 
Hungary. Hungary has one. Look, look, one iron tile. So he has. So Rome needs to get another city up here and probably settle on this. You have a builder ready to go, which he's getting a builder to go improve probably this one. Uh, but get a builder ready to improve that. Have it ready to go. It's his. This settler here, I think, is a bad choice to go down here. You want to really get within your first three cities like cap included you you want to lock down like two iron tiles and get them going right and have that if you can obviously if your spawn doesn't have it then you can't and by the time he settled this one he didn't have bronze working so like this is a smart forward settle to cut off america but this this one here it, it should have went in the direction of, of the bronze or in the direction of the uh, iron. Who's yeah, but B BTS they're an excellent they're an excellent team, they're excellent um, at playing. The reason why this stream is for mature audience uh, is because I may slip in uh, a swear word. And usually I don't just cast, I play games sometimes and I have to communicate with other players. And you, we have all seen and heard how other players interact with one another, especially within CPL. And sometimes people will say mature things. So I'm doing it to cover my bases. I'd rather, realistically, I would like family friendly. This is a family friendly game and I generally don't say anything um, mature. Like I, I keep it, I keep it PG or even PG thirteen. But I can't account for other people, and I don't, I can't just, I don't have an auto auto bleep for things, right? It's live. You can't control that. So it's better to just be safe than sorry. All right, go third settle going up. here. Here, Catherine going for Etanemanki. Etanemanki rush. Not even a rush. He went three cities first. Gonna grab it because he can. Alright, let's see what religions are up. I know Molly has one for sure. Core music and defender. So he stole defender. I love that. Thank you for the follow, uh, Louis, Louis Zord? Sounds right. Louis Zord. Thank you, thank you. I love that sound, it just gets me popping. Uh, where was I at? I lost my train of thought. I really, I really want to see this early war between these two. We're going to see horses versus legions here. Uh, we're gonna see who does. The thing is, we're gonna probably see horses versus legions, but legions are gonna have a general. Like I said, I think I think this is getting. I mean, getting this down gets the amenity helps, but I think I think getting your strategics is more important if you're gonna if you're gonna push somebody. He's locking down this defensively from Hungary, so Hungary won't be able to push into here. That this is actually really smart this is really smart to block this off uh, yeah I don't know if I would settle across on I, I'd want to keep the river defense yeah keep the river defense and you can you can you can put a unit here like get a get a unit here and then have a, an archer here and they're not pushing in here. Like they have to step up on here and it's just gonna get annihilated. That's really smart. The only thing he has to worry about now is Hungary coming through this one tile choke, but that's just not gonna pass all that this this right here, this settle here, locked down, literally locked down Hungary from attacking into him. Hungary is not gonna be able to push into this whatsoever. And to, to solidify it even further, put an encampment here with walls. And like I said, not coming through, not coming through. I don't even think you can come through here. I think this is, 
Now this isn't blocked up, so that is an avenue of approach, but that just furthers the progress. So the only way America is gonna get any any rush is from Roman legions, and it has to come through here. Which this is gonna be difficult. It's difficult terrain. America's in a strong position here for defense. And Mali and America can put a lot of pressure onto Arabia. Arabia looks like they want Earth Goddess. Um, fertility there. City Patron Goddess. So he's gonna maybe... You don't, you don't need... You only need is a holy site. Maybe one or two holy sites. Um, no more for Spain. You want to get that religion going. Because you use the missionaries and whatnot. For the conquista or push. Uh, so we have a warrior that... Yeah, the way they're settling is is nice. K KGB, they're they're playing pretty strong right now. I think. I don't know who's the favorite at this point. I literally have no idea. Given given where people have spawned and where they're at, I would say, based off numbers, KGB is in the stronger position here, because. Uh, America is in a good defensible position, which solidified uh, Mali being very defensible, very much defended, and he can get his economy going and really boost into the team. Sorry if I don't talk about like who's doing teching what and whatnot. I like to just let people see that on their own. I don't like you can look at that and see it. If you want to see like stats, like sometimes I'll, I'll forget about going back and forth between the stats and the text and stuff. So there's something you specifically want to see. Just let me know in chat. And if I don't see it in chat, if I'm not paying attention, you can do the lights. You can change the light color and let me know what's going on. It automatically does that for some reason. I don't know why it changes it to red, but. You can always change the lights to get my attention and bring something up. But here are the stats. Um, not a lot of gold going through, but it's early. You don't really focus much on that. So yeah, he did go for an encampment. So we're we're gonna see we're gonna see horses, legions, both the generals. It's not worth Rome going through and trying to deny a general. Kim's, Kim's Kui. Kim, Kim Squee. I think that's Kim Squee. That, that sounds right. Kim Squee. Thank you for your follow. Yeah, it's not, it's not worth to try to, to get four generals. Like, you're better off just getting units. Like, get one. Make sure you, make sure you get one, right? You want to definitely make sure you get one. And then you can passively get two. Um, if you're gonna deny generals, you need like another teammate to like maybe divvy it up. You go, you both go two, two and two. But it's unlikely you're gonna be able to get all four without someone else getting one, right? So you just gotta account for that. You know, horses versus legions. I think legions win that overall, but the horses have the maneuver, which. We have an American scout down here trying to pillage some some trade routes and whatnot. See, you don't you don't need to have this warrior there. I I would move this warrior back, move this warrior back and set it here, and let him step up there. That way you can get some experience for your slinger. You can actually attack into him. Like you don't need to defend there. That's that's pointless. You do you'd be. You need that unit, you need this unit here, and then you could probably put another unit here and block that off. But I, I guess, I guess looking at it now, right? Look at it now, you got the roads. He can attack on two different fronts. Like Rome, he, he has two, two different fronts he can attack. And this one's gonna be even more difficult now because of this encampment. So he might actually want to attack in this direction. It's still going to be difficult because there's one top choke. Like, it's very defensible land there. Archery, Gaul, Rome, Ironworking. So he's headed toward Ironworking. America is also headed into Ironworking. 
Interesting. Let's check the era score. Three turns. Ooh, Rome. Rome might not might not get golden age. Oh no. Might be the only in America. It's close. You could last he could have last moved and onto that. Rome will finish iron working, right? But I don't think that'll be enough. I think you only get two for that. I think that puts him at 18. America is gonna be short too. I think they're both gonna miss Golden Age. It's very possible. Oof. I don't think they re I don't know if people realize this, but for the districts with Hungary, they have to be a immediately across the river like they have to be immediately across the river but he guess he wanted to get the plus threes i guess that was more important like th this one i'll get the benefit if the districts in these two spots will get the benefit uh monuments like you said monuments are important you want to make sure your culture is competing uh arabia went work ethic Shrines and temples provide production equal to their intrinsic faith output. I don't think that's accurate. Is that's base game? Is that text accurate? I'm pretty sure that's base game, and people said that was broken. Work ethic. Oh, wow. Never mind. Never mind. I misread that. You're right, it's Rhines and Temples. Base is adjacency, you're right. Sometimes you read things differently. Four cities. Okay. He managed to get it. He managed. So Iron Rock only got him one. He managed to get Golden Age. Very lucky. With four cities. Rome went for that fourth settler. I think that's where he went wrong. He could have. It's rough. I don't know what he could have done. You're not going to get a general on time. It literally goes next turn. That's devastating. Two off. Like, that's that's significant. Like, you're not going to get a pen brush and voice, and America is. You're going to have a difficult time affording units as compared to uh, America, right? This, essentially, with pen brush and voice, this encampment is free with pen brush and voice, right? Oh wait, it gives you plus two. Oh, if you use a citizen yield. Right, the maintenance the cost for an encampment is one. With Pembrush and Voice, that maintenance cost is now zero. Because you get pretty sure you get one for every district, right? You can't even look at it. All right, well, only only Rome. You don't really expect to see that out of BTS. They're much better. So they did. Catherine got at the Mankey, and they went reeds and marshes for that one city. And they're settling toward Everest. Yeah, I mean, Catherine's literally free sim. Uh, their neighbors gall. Uh, they're they're in the position to just handle this game however they see fit. Sim it up, go for culture victory, try to at least.
like I said, right here is Arabia, all on the east side of the map here. Center and to the east is where all the action is going to be. Uh, Arabia is going to be fighting pretty much. It's, I think, I don't know. I really don't know. Like I said, hung Hungary is not going to do anything. Hungary is not going to be able to push into this at all. Rome's going to have a difficult time pushing into this. Like I said, this is very easily defended. It's gonna be, it's gonna, it's for sure gonna be a 1v1 with Mali, but America's gonna be able to get units in there too. He's gonna have one rough time. And Spain is just, like I said, this, this choke lines, these choke lines are just horrible. Hopefully Arabia can uh, defend. And you see, turn 32, we're getting government plazas finishing. People are making sure that they get their government plazas down. They're not delaying them until turn 80 something. Thank you for the follow, Fei. Oh, wow, this is Fei Li. Fei Li. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry that I didn't. But L. But L. But L Yi. What's the Y E Y? Ah, see, fail. Fail Yi. But I was getting back to the point. Like, and Yi like yay. Fail Yi. Got it. Getting back to the point here. Yeah, government pauses are, are are being put down and they're being finished. This is about the timing you want to get them. Turn no later than turn 35, realistically. Ideally, no no later than turn 35. But when I don't see it done is America. America is behind the party there. But Hungary went pen brush, normal age there, monumentality, monumentality. Pen brush, pen brush, monumentality, and pen brush. Just the basic stuff that people do. Naval, navels would normally go uh, free and free. That's basically the only time you see free and free it, is a naval with harbors. That's basically it. Pretty much other than that, the go-to is pen brush and voice. It's just, it's uh, it's ideal for for inland. It's it's too Franky is too early for your commercial hubs. I've had this discussion before. You don't really want to do Franky with your commercial hubs until you get to guilds, I believe. You know, yeah, the plus one hundred percent commercial hubs agency. Um, yeah. But as far a as as cat, so far cat. Oh. Wait, you get you're trying to confuse me. It's pronounced like fail. Equals fa, which is far. Plus a as in cat. Plus, it's fail. It's just fail. <laughs> a as in far. So all. Bow. Very confusing. Man. What's up with this forward settle in America? Forward settle America forward settling Mali. I guess he doesn't really. He doesn't really have anywhere to go. So, F A is far, like fa, fa. Fa plus the A is so cat so fa fa L fail or I I don't know that's not very fail 
So it's not, it's not exactly fail, but it's kind of like that. It's not fail, it's fell. A fell. 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 I thought you were saying earlier it was like, like FA was like for far and A was cat and I was like, that doesn't make sense. So we got a Legion coming out in three. I think he should have prioritized going for the Legion first. You really want it missing that golden age is ugh. You're so far behind now. Everyone's gonna take such a lead on you. Like look look at the 10, 17, like that can be a little bit higher. I guess Rome is probably one of the only leaders that can take that hit and and recover pretty well and maintain but you're just slowing yourself down but L yay but L yay Ballier. He didn't even settle on the, the dies. I want to settle on the dies. I mean, you get them immediately. Because many of these are going to hurt. I guess that's what makes me different than everyone else. No one got a general. America is running a project. They both can have generals. It's going to have a legion. Interesting choice to go with the entertainment complex. He, he's already he's already thinking ahead to go for Colosseum. Yeah, we're not gonna see any war on that front. Basically, the war that we're gonna see is gonna be between these two. We're gonna see who's gonna get the better Grandmaster's Chapel, essentially. And it looks like you got forty faith on Arabia. The Sagubas are up though. Oh, plus seven Saguba. Oh no. Oh, Sacha. Ancestral Hall. In the hall. Ancestral Hall. Really? Was there, was there a change to Ancestral Hall that I'm unaware of? I'm seeing more people use it. Weird holy site. Interesting choice for a holy site. He took River Goddess. He took River Goddess. And putting it next to Sagiba would have gave it more adjacency. I'm interested to see I'm I'm, in, I'm curious as as to the decision making for that instead of put, like putting it here instead of next to the river to give you more housing amenities and more gold from your saguba i'm guessing i don't see the government plaza so i'm guessing that's the government plaza spot i still think this this should have been the government plaza. I think this should have been the government plaza and the holy site should have went here. I definitely want to put a holy site down. Like you already have two holy sites with the Sagubas. You need a government plaza. You're delaying your government plaza far too much. Far too much. You need a government plaza. You're delaying it. Uh, so there's a legion. Ooh, American Scout got some free gold there. Pillaged. That nah, he's gonna just, he's gonna get away now. Oh, this volcano destroying the campus. Work worka? Who's who's worka? Worker's going to New Settle Down with America. You mean up here? Oh yeah, this. I don't know who Worker is. 
Uh, Hora de Werka. There we go. The other. And the other end. I couldn't see. So that's the... I think... I think... Aura is our. So... I'm gonna assume Werka is... Is like work. So like a work hour. Hour of work. Time to work. So it's time. So it translates more to time. Wait, duh isn't of? Duh, duh in French is of. Oh, that's where my mind went. Well, oh, work hour. So times that. I guess, yeah. So minus, minus one gold per turn. And he's getting another archer out. Gonna hurt them there for a little bit. He's going into the encampment. He sees. He sees. Ne Neo is no, or like, like negative, right? It's like not or no. So no time to. No time to something. Tra no time to travel. By the way, uh, in the game, he's in a really, Arabia's in a really good uh, monumentality. Going into Maestri, so he, he's planning for a defense. He's planning to defend um, these two. He, he's in a good position to defend as well. It's just, he's kind of a rel at this point. He's got these two. Uh, Rome, Rome pinched down America that he's kind of pinched in with Molly. They're all kind of clustered together, if you think about it. We have all of these city-states pushed to the outside, and then all of these guys put into the center, like, clustered together, right? And then you have these two over here just completely open. And then, like, why are they clumped here? Why is this clumping going on? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Fel, Fel, uh, Faelier, America will be fine. These choke points are, are, you can't push through them. Like, if, if Rome invests too much into trying to war into America at this point, it's not going to work. It's going to be an Arel, it's going to be an Arel, it's going to Arel himself, <clears throat> and it's going to hurt his team overall. He needs to recognize, and I think he, I think he partially sees that. He sees what's there. He's going for Colosseum. He's going to sim up. He needs to get a couple more settles out, but he just needs to get some legions there, have them ready in case America tries to get frisky to push in. But he, he has to understand that he can't push into that, <clears throat> and his teammates need to realize that as well. He needs to communicate that to his teammate. Hey, hey look, I can't push in these choke points. Neither can Hungary. You're kind of on your own. You kind of got to defend until I can get to military engineers and tunnel, so I can tunnel in and help. I can't do anything to at least cure his ears. He needs to communicate that. All right, he he can still get units and send them up there and kind of annoy, but don't over invest into a war that you're not gonna be able to push into. It's just not gonna happen. He has an encampment, he has a sword, it's it's on these choke points, it's basically one tile. He could try to go all the way up around, but that's too much. And like I said, he's in a good position here to defend. Uh, he th this is defendable. Um, utilize. I I wouldn't settle on this side of the river, even though it's a two-two. I would settle. I would settle more on the. One, two. I wouldn't want to worry about naval either. So I would settle on the on the rice. That way you get the river defense. You get the immediate two-two to work. And then I would settle like maybe up on this lake. You can settle a couple things in this lake and then maybe up here. So the, there, there's potential to expand, but at some point he's gonna have to war and he's gonna be stuck. Right? His, his other expands are down here where Gaul is already, already gobbled up. 
Gaul's going for that early. Oh, he's gonna grab. He's gonna steal it. Yeah, he's gonna get Colosseum. Rome, Rome's, Rome's not gonna get Colosseum. He's gonna lose it. Yeah, he's already working on Colosseum. Magnus with chops. Yeah, plus he's he's gonna get this. Uh, yeah, Colosseum belongs to to him. Uh, that's true, but here's the thing. America is there to help out, right? He can easily close this off, defend, perfectly fine, and he can, he can, he can defend, um, or they can defend against, against him. Spain, Spain will need to get involved, I believe. Hungary for sure. Maybe not so much same, but someone else needs, will need to get involved to hit from the other side. And I think either one of them is in a good position to do that. Okay. I just don't like how that these guys got clumped together and all the cities just got pushed to the outside. <clears throat> it's true. If you know how to snowball, you can pretty much take anybody out. But uh, honestly, I think I feel like KGB might actually win this. They just based off map alone, like they got super lucky with that remap. I personally, I think without the remap, I think BTS would have was in the was in the lead, right? Like, they had the advantage, even though Rome was on an island by himself and he had to go shipbuilding to get off that island. But I, st I still think having Arabia in that freezing position put them at the advantage. Whereas now, hey, see how he said it on the race? But seeing now, it's, it's completely the opposite. Um, America is, like I said, defensible land. He can pretty much control any fight that he wants. Molly is able to do whatever he wants to do because he has America there as, as a backup defense. Like, this is perfect. Like, having Teddy Rough Rider next to you as Molly, like, that's the most ideal thing you could ever get as Molly. Like, he didn't get a lot of desert, but he got someone there to defend him. And he put a Saguba there. That was uh, 100% a mistake. 100% a mistake. That's. The Saguba should have been here. And the theater or the holy site should have been there. Actually, actually, government plaza here, Saguba here, holy site here. That's how you want to. That's how you want to cluster those together. This is this is not a good government plaza. Yeah. KGB is is definitely in the advantage uh, position here, based off spawn alone, based off the map. Um, Gaul, like you have a uh, Gaul, basically, hundred percent Gaul and Catherine France free sim. Like KGB has two players free sim, and the other two can Arel one, maybe even two. But here comes the horse push from Arabia. We might actually see Molly get some, get punished. No classical unit. Wow. He saw the opportunity and he's like, I'm stuck here, I gotta do something. And he went for it. This is gonna pay dividends, this is gonna pay off. Not only is he going to be able to at least, at the very least, raise one city, he may even be able to keep a, keep a couple cities. They have to buy him a unit. They have to buy him a horse. This this city is gone. This city is gone in itself. This, this city is gone. You're not saving this city. But you need to get a classical unit to save the other two cities. Molly Molly's actually... That changes everything. I think, I think this game's over now. There's, there's the classical unit. 
It's not going to save the city. It, it's just not. It's not going to save the city at all. The, the city's gone. Uh, it, and it'd be best to just raise it too. Just hit it, raise it, and move forward. You don't want. You don't want to get them to liberate that. Let's see. Thirty science there. So that's the leader. Hypatia up. Hungary's gonna get Hypatia. I believe Gaul. Gaul has the. He's gonna finish. He's gonna finish Colosseum. Rome. Oof. I mean, he's not gonna put a lot of production. He's got. He's got. He's, he has chops ready. He's about to lose it. Hopefully, he doesn't chop. He has the builders ready to chop out Colosseum, but you're not gonna beat Gaul. Oh, this guy got blocked in. Um, yeah. But even still, even all right. This, oh, geez, stop clicking. This, this changes so much, right? Just getting rid of this one city. Change it puts Molly down to two cities. He loses the this holy site. He loses this Saguba. It actually sets him because he only has three cities. He should have he should have at least had five cities now, right? He has a settler coming out to settle, but he should have had five cities already. You're not gonna be able to keep that. Well, that that forces America to step back, and this this is the time. No, it's not. Gonna, see, see what I mean, though. What what I was saying is coming true. You can defend this so easily against Rome, and you can just apply pressure to Arabia, right? Arabia caught Mali off guard, caught both of them off guard, and they got punished for it. They played extra greedy, but like I said, look at this. Uh, it's all defending. You literally cut off these two. These two are better off just saying, hey, handle yourself. We know you can do that. And we're going to sim up and we're going to do everything we can to outperform them. And they're both doing pretty well. Hungary is doing very well. Like the, these three here are like kind of clumped together and they're simming up. Well, these two, it's, it's just a sim fest. Rome, yeah, Rome stopped with the arena. Uh, so, uh, poor, I don't know. Um, I mean, I can use Google Translate. If the poor Katu still catches someone in the short pants. He catch someone off guard. Right now America is just gonna send units there and still defend this. Like, like I said, Rome can't push into that. It's, it's just impossible to do. I don't know if I would have put the encampment here. I think this, I guess if you want to be aggressive, you'd put it there. But I think in this position here, you just use this defensively, right? You put it, you put it in this spot here, use it to defend, and you just put all of your attack that you can into Arabia and killing off Arabia. He's backing up. Stonehenge next turn though. I mean, he got punished for it. Lost the city, that's all it took. Wasted production and, and whatnot. Got the American scout down here, trying to get some pillages off. Horses, markets. Really good, really good commercial placements with the government plaza. Got a mission down there. Yeah, really, really I don't know about the mission spot. It takes up a 
a district slot for the government plaza adjacency, but really good commercial hubs, really good commercial hubs. Uh, being hungry, he can use city states. He can, but the problem with city states is they keep getting pushed. They keep getting pushed to the outside of the map. Here's who's ever, here's the people in control of city states. Where is Hanza? Uh, Hanza? It's Hanza's here. I mean, he he could definitely cause cause mayhem over here with with these guys, but to to help out Arabia, it's just not gonna happen. Arabia really is on his own. He has to do everything he can. He doesn't have Defender. So Molly got Defender. Oof. Maybe is having a difficult time keeping his religion there. I think Spain will be able to, to apply pressure here, yeah. Like Molly is surrounded. He's like kind of kind of choked in by everyone. But he has, he has Teddy Roughrider there to help defend. While literally their other two teammates are just simming away. Like Oracle, Coliseum, two, four, seven cities, eight cities each. Like they're compared to the other team where like they're kind of, they're kind of huddled at four. Four, five tops, you know, like four cities, Four, like everyone on the other team has four cities when you compare them to Gaul and Catherine like they're gonna take this game it, it did this this did change change this up and it put it put BTS in a better position but overall I, th I still I still say the overall thing is they're not gonna win this game they did it they have KGB has to make serious mistakes here. I think they have to make some serious mistakes to not win this game. And I just don't see that happening. Unless unless BTS can make some unless Arabia. Literally it, it all it all boils down to Arabia. What Arabia can do against these two by himself, essentially. The these guys aren't aren't simming as well. Like they're not simming as well as these two, right? One of one of these three needs to sim at the very least. R ideally, two of them. Ideally, two of them need to sim up much quicker than what they are. Arabia has no choice to do what they're doing. But overall, I think I I don't think BTS is gonna win this one the the remap kind of set them in a bad position and it, it made made a huge difference surprisingly though gall isn't doing too well with the stats neither is molly so overall stats wise stat like based off the stats BTS is is leading right on on average they're leading uh, KGB though <clears throat> was it KGB a or KGB alt because I, I have them as alt is there an a and a B KGB
more legions coming out i i don't think i don't think you focus i don't think you don't go with more legions i America's not gonna push into you. You can easily defend this with your own, with your legions. Um, unless you're gonna go kill a city state, right? Don't use these to sit there. If you're gonna make more, go use them, take a city state and and expand more. I, I think it's a bad decision. All right, he is, he is at war with Bologna. Um, because of America has seized. <clears throat> Right. Yeah, if if you're gonna make them, you at least go attack with them. You know, go get some value out of out of your legions. But overall, like, yeah, get your gold because Arabia is gonna need the gold. He evangelized. What did he? He went tithe. Makes sense. Spain went Zen meditation and pilgrimage. Unfortunately, he's gonna have a difficult time getting his religion to go anywhere else. The Mali scout way up top there. He knows it's there. Arabia knows that scout went up there. Um, yeah, America. America is just popping off on stats as well. He got he won the lottery with with mountain tiles. Um, good point. Rome. Rome's. You know they're they're keeping up. I'm a little dissatisfied with Rome's culture but he did like you said he did miss golden age so he's hurting on that front because of that he would have a lot more culture uh he did put effort into this entire time complex at Colosseum but Gaul speed rushed that he's also gonna miss out on Oracle because France gets that in literally four turns um Diplo quarter on Hungary I want to see some Hungary City state units. Uh, so there are KGBA, KGBS, and KGBG. There's so many. That's that's really nice that they have that many people participating. Yeah, I like. You said Gaul, Gaul and Catherine, like they're not even worried about you, like not even worried about units, right? Just go, go, go. Sim, 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 get stats and worry about doing... Catherine, I don't think Catherine's gonna ever attack anybody. They might, they might try to like come across the water and attack Rome later, like late game. But realistically go, go into the theater squares, go culture. Go for the culture bit. Uh, let's see what the techs are going. So yeah, it seems like everyone's going more top tree. Like they're just summing up, right? Hungary, Cat, uh, France, and Spain. So Spain, Spain's gonna pick up on the on the simming. He's he's gonna sim. So I think Hungary and Spain are gonna sim up. They're gonna be their their sim competitors. Uh, to Gaul and France like that's how it's gonna match up so we're gonna have basically Arabia and Rome versus Mali and uh, and America and here's the thing though Spain will have an opportunity to conquistador into Mali like that's that's very possible to conquistador into Mali Whereas Gaul would have Gaul, Gaul, and especially Catherine, they, they don't really have anyone close enough that they can just sim into um, strong units and attack. Whereas Spain does. He put the city back there. Oh, we didn't check to see who got generals. I yeah, checked the great people. Uh, general. Arabia got a general. Rome. And America. That's the first four generals. And I believe, yep. He got Hypatia. Hungary got Hypatia. Tex. Oh, what do we talk about here? T2 base. Getting builders out. I'm not sure. Yeah, he should be. 
I don't, unless he went, did he go? No, those aren't feudalism builders. They're not feudalism builders. But America is going for the libraries, really gonna focus on getting his science going. I'm actually, I'm actually surprised Gaul doesn't have better stats for his free sim situation. All right, he's got amazing opedums, amazing opedums. Imagine if America would have left him take stone circles. I think that was a, a miss, a misplay on, on their team front. Right, I think I think he should have let, I think they should have let Gaul take stone circles. Uh, maybe not. He only has these. I guess America had more. Not by much, though. Yeah, this is a really good Opedum. Gets plus four from that. We'll get a, eventually get another plus two from this Snyder once he gets uh, military engineering done, I believe. Yeah. France is going to play for the culture victory. That's going to be his primary focus is that... Um, I'm not sure what Gaul. Gaul is just getting a lot of culture. Continue simming. Uh, he might try to like attack into somebody later. I don't know. Or just be the wall. Just be a, a massive wall for France. Mali, Arabia. This this is where all the action is. This is where I'm going to primarily focus a lot. We'll we'll hop over on this side a little bit here, but I think it's just unfair that. Like all these guys kind of are kind of clumped together and you got these two in the same team just off by themselves and then all of the city suits got pushed to the outside like that to me that's not balanced that's and there needs to be a look into that and there's two maps in a row that the city suits got pushed to the outside but of course if i say that to certain people they don't take criticism very well and they get very upset with me. We all know who those people are. Who those individuals are. Say. And whenever realistically I'm not doing it to be mean, I'm doing it to try to help. You know, give feedback. Oh, America's pushing in. Okay. America's like, oh, let's see if I can get some pillages off. Let's uh, see what you got. There's a Diplo Quarter down. Um, there's, no, there's no yield. There's no yield. I, I wish they would add a yield in for Diplo Favor per turn. Like, that would be cool to have as well. Please. Uh, let's see how much hunger he's getting. So he's at 27. Yeah. Another thing to add. Let, let, let him know. Three. I'm getting three per turn. Oh, last move, first move on to the Diplo Quarter. See, it's not worth it. Uh, you're gonna lose. Uh, if you fortify pillage, he might be able to keep. Now, you're gonna lose that unit. If if he commits to pillaging this, he loses that unit. He sac is he willing to sacrifice that unit for a pillage? That's the question. That unit will die if he if he even if he fortifies and pillages, that unit will die. <clears throat> this team communication here uh, not working out so well. I mean, he's gonna hold his. Ah, that's rough. You need to get a unit over there, otherwise he can't settle. He can't settle there. Because of the Skull Scout. Yeah. If he moves off, we'll just lose it. So, he can't commit to going there. See, Spain should have settled there and let Hungary settle here. The missions are up. 
overall, BTS is, it, I, I think, is in a stronger position. But like you said, based off the map, KGB hasn't. So I think the between the how those work out, it kind of balances one another. And really gonna see how things play out. Uh, apprenticeship. All right, looks like Arabia is a little bit behind America on on nights on the night timing. But that's that's it. That's just two turns. That's not too bad. There's the pre builds coming out of America. I don't see any pre builds here. Government Plaza there with Audience Chamber. Government Plaza with Audience Chamber as well. Did he go with... He doesn't have a building yet. Doesn't have the first building in there yet. Ah, oh, he actually saved it. Oh, because the marsh, it stopped from attacking. Alright. Forgot about that. Hello. Did you come back? Did you leave and come back? Gaul getting more of those. Go from Mahabodhi Temple. Or Spain. Wow, what am I thinking? No, Gaul. Spain, go from Mahabodhi Temple. Great Bath. Temple of Artemis from Gaul. It looks like Gaul is gonna kill Singapore and take it. And maybe try to push into this at some point with tunnels. Not doing too bad. Oh, well, glad, glad to see you back. I didn't, I didn't realize you left. Mm, cool, cool. This is, this is your first time here. Uh, I like to mention that in my channel points you if you scroll to the very bottom of it if you get 25 channel points you can request a gifted tier and sometimes i just give them out for free anyway like just don't i just gift them um, but that is a way for people to if they want to get a subscription if they don't have their prime subscription they can just do that just watch and gain the channel points if you run aware, I don't know if you knew or not. Many people take advantage of that all the time. Thank you for the follow, Enizen. That sounds right, Enizen. Oh no. No, no. No. The music stops since your Spotify account is being used on another device. Oh, he messed it up. I'm streaming, mister. There we go. Please show the age and yields per turn. Yep, yep, yields. These are the yields. Well, you can see the yields for culture and science. Um, you just can't really see the golden face. That's what this is really good for is gold faith, even though you can't see the favor, which would be nice to have. But yeah, BTS, I think on a ah, the average is changing now. And eras, golden, normal still. I don't think five turns to the next one. Oh, yeah. 
It looks like Rome definitely secured his. It looks like Hungary is going to go into a dark age. It's going to be close. I only got a couple people who secured it. Got a, a bath coming down for Rome. That'll help. Machu Picchu in seven. There aren't really any natural wonders around. They're like, other than, you know, you got Mount Everest over here that isn't really even being used. Kind of lackluster on the natural one. The natural wonders. Ugh. Great bath. Mahabodhi already talked about those. What? Oh, wow. Gaul moved the scout out. Wow. Really? Just plant that there and keep and slid on any units trying to come through there. That, that's a misplay. Huge misplay. On Gaul's part. He should have kept that there. Alright. It looks like there's some there's a couple pre-builds here from that three turns on that he already has night tech he has some pre-builds down here it looks like he's gonna try to go harass hungary and eh, hungary maybe even rome rome may be able to gonna be tough America is preventing him from doing much there need more legions up there bud actually need a couple archers that horse is dead these two archers are gonna are gonna hit that and, and it's gonna die I don't, I don't know if they attack before this finish ever, but if it if they both are able to attack, it's dead. Uh, America got a great scientist. Got a great merchant there. Great merchant. Anything crazy coming up. All uncontested for engineers. Who turns on that wonder? Gaul going for Hanging Gardens, he's going to take that as well. Theater Squares. Arabia, Arabia is, is fighting on the Raiders. He's, yeah, he's like, nope, not happening. He only has, what, one theater square? And an amphitheater? You run a project? Temples, Grandmaster's Chapel coming up. 129 faith per turn. His Grandmaster Chapel is going to pay off big time. I think one of the problems I have with Arabia is their unique ability to have a cheaper building you can't do that until after the temple and the temple i feel like if you're gonna do that if you're gonna get your building get it cheaper like that you want to get it early it, it should be able to be purchased at at any point right oh geez got it just quick it was quick. Super quick. Gotta shave my face. My chair. This is naturally growing. It grows like this. I don't get much hair on my cheeks. This doesn't naturally grow there. There's the scout. He knew it was there anyway. Settled on a, on that. All right. So we got a couple more people who solidified it. America is gonna get theirs too.
Generals, zero per turn, two per turn, two, one, one. Mm -hmm. They managed to push back on that. Got the legions up here now. Yeah, like I said, that horse ended up dying. Oh no, he saved it. He managed to save that horse, wow. But you're not gonna kill this, this city state. America helped protect it. Needed more legions. But it's good they didn't ever commit into that, right? He's gotta sim up, get his stats going. 73 science with America, oof. They're actually, KGB is starting to come back. Arabia though, whoof. Hopping. He's, he's staying relevant to this game. Seven cities. Sticking to it. Raised the city of Mali. Slowed Mali down significantly. Gaul is underperforming for his position. Right? He, his spike either hasn't hit yet or it's huge mistakes here on his part. I mean, he has a lot of culture. He has 62 culture, right? But his counterparts are doing just as well. We're relatively close. <laughs> I feel like his science is... I mean, he'll get his science up there. It's going to happen. I don't know why there. I guess the mountains. I can't put it next to here. Okay, that makes sense. What does it say? We commercial hub. Yeah. Uh, so there's some what night pre-builds here from Molly. Yeah, Molly is delaying that. He wants to get some night pre-builds of his own. Um, he doesn't have, does he have, come on, he doesn't have the building in there yet. So he's not going to have Grandmaster's Chapel. Arabia is going to have Grandmaster's Chapel and he's going to hit him hard with that. Um, America, America is going to have to do his best to defend that. He has knights down here. Oh, we missed all this. These legions are able to, to smack in there and, and get rid of that. All right. But knights, the knights are going to come. Uh, uh, it might actually be a good idea to... He's going to need more units on here. Like this, this horse, this horse has actually got some good pillages going. Getting good value out of it. Dude, I was going to be able to take that. One, two... Rome, Rome leaving. Oh, sent back the general. And he is wool in. America must have wool in, yeah, because of the the great general points. He did forward settle, yeah here as well i mean it's not really forward subtle i mean it's it's ambitious but he kind of doesn't really have a whole lot elsewhere to go and he wants to you want to keep america pinned down as much as possible okay he's stuck at five cities molly's stuck at four molly's irrelevant molly will die molly will die um that's the only way molly doesn't die is if america puts everything he can into protecting Molly. Yeah, but this this horse is gonna pillage. Like it's just right. But uh, either way, yeah. Yeah, you like you said, Molly Molly will die. He He didn't play correctly, I don't I don't think. There was like he doesn't he's not on pace for a Grandmaster Chapel. He lost this he played a little greedy, he didn't have any units to defend that. He didn't have a classic unit, lost this city, got a new one down. 
Those are the types of things you can't make a mistake with. He does have good gold per turn. So he can help his team out and, and on that front. Like realistically, KGB, they're they're winning on the gold per turn front. But it's not like they're crazily ahead of everyone else. Like the other team. Yeah, you're right. He was gonna he was gonna kill him. But there's there's nothing Molly can do early game to push and, and stop Arabia from rolling. That would have been America's job, right? America America should have did what I said, just blocked this up and really went in and tried to like attack into Arabia and put a hold or slow him down. And this city probably would have never got raised and he'd be able to do so much more. But all these pre builds are coming out. <laughs> That's how they win them, right? You win a war by coming in in third party. You third party the war to win. Uh, Molly will die eventually, but I think they have the gold to to get in the knights to keep them alive. That makes sense. For for longer, like he's not gonna die because of knights. He's gonna die at tanks. Well, I guess they they both have unique. They're unique knights, right? They're unique. Their unique units are knights. So like, yeah, that they kind of just square. They kind of balance out. Um, an even. It's an even match. He's running a project. Is new. I guess he wants this twenty healing. Return. Scientist. He's running two different projects for it. Grandmaster's Chapel next turn. Uh, he finishes, he's gonna finish stirrups next turn, I guess. I don't know if they have the gold. Yeah, they have the gold to do it. They both have gold to get each other knights. Um, he, I think he'll be able to defend these knights. Uh, but overall, uh, I think the Grandmaster's Chapel is gonna be the, what's the, the death sentence, I guess. That's that's gonna be the ender is Grandmaster's Chapel. No matter what, neither one of these two are gonna be able to produce. He hasn't even got his first building. That's his government plaza. Doesn't have ancestor hall. Doesn't have any, doesn't have any any first building. So he's not gonna have. He's gonna he's gonna be fighting without it, and that's that's gonna be the death certificate. Right. Neither one of these two are going to be able to compete with units, right? He already has a bunch of units, right? It's just, just going to further it even more. He's going to be able to buy the catapults or, or the or the trebuchets. He's going to be able to buy more knights. He's going to be able to buy these things because he he's had 349 there. He's getting 160 per turn. He can re, he can replace these units as he loses them relatively quickly comparatively. I don't know what people are going to vote, it's random. Yeah, um, Molly, in my opinion, Molly is a tricky sieve to play um, effectively, or efficiently, I should say. It takes, it. Molly, Molly is a high skill uh, leader. It may not seem like it. It may just be like, oh, I just found some Sagubas and whatnot. But I think Molly is a high skill leader. And if you don't, if you don't know the game well enough, or oh, that's not how you say that. If if you don't play your situation as best as you can as Molly, you can you can get punished and you can you can get hurt pretty bad. All right, let's, uh, we've been focusing on that too much. So we have Machu Picchu coming out there. We have Rome getting his own knight. So he's gonna put pressure on America on this side. So America's not gonna be able to help out much 
he'll, he'll be able to help out, but his attention is going to be diverted by a little bit over here. Bro. Uh, we have Spain and Hungary going going all over the place here. They're, they're pretty much free sim as well. Jeez, why are you clicking me? Stats on everyone are looking good except for Gaul. I'm really disappointed in, in Gaul's stats here. Like his science has been behind for far too long. We have Catherine over here going for a typical quarter as well. Yields uh, 45 gold per turn, not really that great. Let's see about the writers. Four writers per turn. Yeah, I think. Based off of, of what I know, I think right now this this would be a slow, this is a really slow culture type of figure. I don't even think they're trying to go for culture here in this front. I'm not exactly sure what what the the point is, but Arabia is at literally 74 science per turn. Like that's crazy. It doesn't even have he has one campus next to a holy site. Right, and the madrasa gives, right, it's the science. You can get extra science, for, I think, with this combination. But he only has one there. He went, he's fully evangelized. No, he's not. Oh, whenever he first started out, he, he went work ethic and meeting house. But you can't do the meeting house until you have a temple. So I, I don't think it's worth going picking that early, right? I don't think, I still don't think it's worth it. That, that's what I was talking about earlier. He, I didn't realize it. Uh, he won't work at the meeting house. You can't do anything with your meeting house until you have temples. And temples come, I, I think, relatively late to grab religion. You're better off, you're better off waiting to get a temple to get an apostle to evangelize in order to get your building i think it's better to do that and you've been better off having height right from the get-go you know to have a little more gold well there's the the mama the mom looks but yeah. Molly's gonna have his unique unit as well. No big, no big bear. Oh, look at this horse with all the free pillages. He's gonna sacrifice it if he... Yeah, back it up. There's some knights there to maybe help protect more pre-builds. They have the gold to, to get all these pre-builds promoted. Uh, do, 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 another madrasa, more Mamluks, Mamluk. He's not even faith buying anything, he's just producing them. This game has had me going back and forth. I was like, KGB is going to win. BTS is going to win. And they're, both teams are playing extremely well. They're, they're playing exceptional. A few mistakes here and there, uh, as expected. But overall, they're both playing extremely well. Very, very pleased to, to be casting this game. Still, I still think the map is a little unfair in KGB's favor, but BTS, they're showing, they're showing their, their skill and they're moving forward. So two, two, four, six, eight. Only eight cities though on, on France. I, I feel a free sim like this, you would have, you'd have 10 cities already. Both of these, both of these ones that have ten cities. Uh, Gaul should have had Singapore done already. 
I don't know if he wants. Who has control? Of... No one has control of that. Someone has control. So he's he's probably gonna. He has to keep one of them, right? How does Arabia got his culture? Honestly, you got. Oh, there's Moksha. There's this theater square. All the pop, all the pop helps out. Monuments. Plus, pen brush and voice most likely. Pen brush and plus pen brush and voice. So he's getting plus two culture and plus one gold for each specialty district. And he has a lot of specialty districts. So if each city has a monument, then you get the 15% with Moksha plus, um, what is it? Plus one for each pop. So like there's there's eight there, plus 15% on top of that. Uh, each each city gives its own culture based off of, off pop as well. So plus pen brush, these each give two. So that's two, four, six, eight. It adds up. Plus he has a, a plus four theater square with two great works. He has two books in there. And each book, I think each book is three culture, I believe. Three or four culture each. But it, it adds up. It looks like he kept Singapore and he's going to raise Hunza. And he's raising Hunza. No. This, this, all, all their cultures, I think they're pretty much all in pen brush, except for Molly, he went free and free. Free and free makes sense. That's usually what people do with Molly. You get your Sagubas up. I don't think he has enough Sagubas to justify going free and free. Um, but that gives him some science there. I don't think it justifies. Uh, but these a lot of these culture numbers are gonna drop a little bit probably by like 10 expect by the, I would say take off take off about 10 10 to 15 culture on each of these and you'll except for Mali and Spain take off about 15 culture and that's kind of where people are gonna be at I'm actually surprised that Rome doesn't have more culture he should have way more cities than this. Way more. He's like really putting effort into like warring into America, which kind of makes sense enough uh, to like be in a nuisance. But like he has to understand that Arabia has to do this on his own. Like he has to fight this on his own. These choke points are not worth it. You're better off. You obviously get get your science going. Right? You want to make sure your science is is in competitive level. But realistically. You should have another four cities, right? Another four cities settled down would would solidify Rome's spot, and then you could really focus on attacking into America, right? Catherine should have more cities, right? Another couple cities, and actually they should not stop expanding, right? They should Catherine, here, France here should should keep settling, just keep settling cities. Getting theater squares down and really drive this culture victory home. Like that's that's the win con from France. Like that's what they can do. France should get gold and culture and run that. Like they have Oracle with Pingala combo. Run that. Go double down on the culture victory. You have you have Gaul here to protect you from anything on this front. They need to trust that America and Mali can deal with with this this is just a, a mess of war it's not really gonna go anywhere not anytime soon All right double down on that and then over here Rome needs to just sim up too and get get the 10 cities and then work at coming in and attacking America Spain same thing <clears throat> sim up more get to get get a good conquista like get some cities over here with some roads, get a good conquistador push ready, and you can you can come in and attack this. Hungary, keep keep settling as many cities as you can. 
he's kind of limited. And that's and do whatever damage you can with city states. This, this this combo here, I don't know what really to do with the situation. Rome Rome for 100% needs to to sim up more. Like you have the space to do it, get more culture from that from those those cities. Um, but overall, yeah, Anza will go down next turn. engineer yes yeah, where all the action is so he's got a warlord's throne he he's gonna be super delayed he has enough of these units here to defend himself no problem he'll get his grandmaster's chapel uh he's 71 signs he's gonna work toward uh, obviously they're all gonna work toward tanks like that's the next step is tanks um minus 20 gold per turn on on the on that front Oh, minus 39 gold per turn. He's producing more of these. He's gonna lose Hunza. But team is. Who's got Smark? Smark and HDS 11? Who's that? I don't know who that is. There we go, France. So France has that one. So America, America, Hungary, France, Spain, Arabia. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Arween, if you're still here, I don't know if you saw, but I noticed that I don't think there was a, a caster for Thursday's game. And I mentioned that I I can cast that one. I don't know what the decision making process is for casters, but it seems like I'm the only one available to do these, so I will do as much as I possibly can. I, I thoroughly enjoy casting the games. And if there's no one available to do it, I'll do it. Right, during the week it helps out a lot. It works out with it works out with my with my schedule. You know, it's only an hour. You guys are only an hour ahead of me. So generally it works out. That's me the Friday. Yeah, I have uh Today was Tuesday, there's one, there's a 6th, then there's one Thursday the 8th, which I'm looking at right now, and it says, uh, not available for the stream, it's URS versus RDF, it's the 8th, and then I just saw this one, there's one tomorrow, I'll gladly cast that one too okay yeah i'll cast the one tomorrow too it, it just works out perfectly it works out amazingly with the timing, like th this is a time that I, I want to, to stream. So it just, it's wonderful. I'm happy. Okay, we got some action going down on here. What do we got here? All right, uh, I wanna get a full strength against a full strength. So we have 70 versus 60. 
Wars of Religion. So base 53, base 53, plus, plus 4 from Wars of Religion. In both have military alliance, he has plus 3 alliance, he has plus 3 intel, plus 2 support. Wow. Mmm, okay. Well, to, to confirm that, to confirm the, the Unified Lobby, I could, I could get, I could pay attention into the server and see if there's anybody doing like a 4v4 game and I could just ask to cast that game and if it's on Unified, just ask and see if it works out or we could just get eight, get eight people to just test it out test one game out like kind of like a fun casual game to test out to see if it does work or not so you have a definitive answer at least with me but it should it, it shouldn't cause any issues theoretically it shouldn't like I said they're during the week, and I want to cast them anyway, and it works out with the timing, you know? Like, it's uh, 7 p.m. my time whenever the games are usually started, and it's a little bit later than what I'd want, but relatively, it's okay. I like it. I don't mind casting instead of playing. Consulates... Yeah, we got here. So, yeah, I mean, this guy was in... I was talking about how much of a bad position he was in from the start. And look at him now. 100 science, 83 culture. He's on the aggression here, going against two people. America on his continent. There's a plus 10 defense there. This is actually pretty average. This is this is average science per turn at this point. Um, about I think I think eighty. I think Rome's right in the average point, like eighty-five science per turn at this point. If you have that, like you're pretty average. Uh, culture. I think it depends. I think. I think right now. I think. I think Rome is the the average of what you you, you usually see. Uh, on leaders, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit low on the science or the culture. So maybe like 80, 80 to 85 science, and 80 to 85 culture is probably around average. That's it at this point. So 100 science is a little above, yeah. Um, but that exponentially increases pretty quickly. So like turn 65, yeah, like 85, whatever. But when you get to like turn like 70 or like, uh, we'll say like turn 75 turn 80 like you you're seeing people going past the 100 mark so like they're they're just there a little bit earlier you can just trebuchet this wall you can trebuchet this city from across the river this city's gonna go down he's gonna keep it this time though uh no it's surrounded he can't get in there be better i mean either way he'll lose that unit And hitting, hitting into this, yeah, it's tough. I think he has to, yeah, I think he has to uh, raise that city. You don't want to, you don't want to risk them liberating it either. But he, he has a front. He, he has, he has multiple front here. Like he can't, he can't deal with both of it. Yeah, you have to raise that. He's not going to be able to keep it. But that leaves this unit to get... Uh, it's probably not worth it. Oof, low rolls. But it does open up that spot. Because if he moves, if he moves a unit in there, it loses his fortification. 
strength. I think I think he just keeps it fortified to slow down any attack and just loses that unit. You have to sacrifice that unit. Please show text. Okay, there's the text. Wheel, castles, gunpowder. So they're all they're all working their way toward ballistics to get to cuirassiers. Uh, this is the power spike there. Um, I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen him. He's still in. Keep on the. Uh, he's still. He's in pen brush. He has Grandmaster Chapel, but I, I haven't seen him buy a single unit yet. I have not. He's saving his faith. I haven't seen him buy a single unit yet with his faith. Big brain play. I mean, he doesn't even. He, I mean, he doesn't need to buy the unit. He just has them. He has. Well, the thing is, he has the shrines and temples. He has work ethic, so he can just produce them. He has a lot of production out of that, out of his cities. For that. Uh, what is this? 27 cap is 28. Crazy. He's gonna push in. Now mind, he's he's fighting into Defender of the Faith as well. So that's that's another thing. But yeah, he's gonna slowly push in. He probably won't get get very far with America, but he's definitely gonna he's gonna put a lot of damage onto on the Mali here. I don't think he's planning for conquistador push. Uh, he he's getting gunpowder. It is. Normally, if you're gonna go with conquistadors, you're gonna have some pre-builds ready to go. You're gonna have some some swords or man at arms ready to upgrade and go into it. And he doesn't have that. I think he's he, I think he's playing it more correctly, right? It in the sense that he's not he's going for Grandmaster Chapel. He's he might buy a couple and send them up there, but he's not doing a push for or push with conquistadors. I think he's playing it correctly in the sense that. Um, Arabia does not have crusade now Arabia. Here's all the religions he has work ethic meeting house tithe Spain has crusade now. and pagodas But Spain's religion is not gonna get into there, right? But like I said, I think I think he's playing it correctly in in the sense that he is working on his stats and he's just gonna just keep going with that and let Arabia do Arabia and he he fully understands that Arabia is gonna be able to clean up Mali on his own. Right? He he can clearly see that they're confident in, in their ability to play this game. And they, they know they know that Mali is not long for the world. They, their BTS knows that they can take out Molly, no problem. Um, so there's no need to overinvest into that, right? And work toward um, just maintaining a lead, right? Yeah, Molly, dead, dead, dead. Um, we're gonna we're gonna look at any war moves here, and then we're gonna go check out France to see what France is doing on this side of the map. I don't want to neglect what's going on there because France is playing exceptionally well too. Um, Gaul is back in the game as well, and I, I want to highlight them. I don't want to neglect what they're doing because all this actions over here. Like th this is where all the fun stuff's happening. But what they're doing is super important to the, the overall outcome of the game. Another unit can die. I want to see a couple more units die first. Alright, he's just moving in now. A lot of units to move. He's very busy with his units. To start moving over here. 
Maybe he attacks, maybe he doesn't. There it is. He'll probably move that onto the, the horse. Okay, we got all that. Uh, oh, Catherine with the going into foreign ministry. Got their spy up. They're settling more cities along the coastline here. Uh, going for... Anyone get any Newton up yet? I don't think so. I told you since turn two that Molly was... <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's just it, when you see when you see the situation where it's like two v one, and I don't know each individual player's skill level, so I, I'm coming into this blind. So I don't I don't know what to expect, right? And realistically, like this game is very close. Like they're all close via stats relatively, and yeah. And everyone, everyone here on, on their teams, are, they're all pretty much average. Like, this is like average place. So like, I'd say they're maybe a little bit above average. I think turn 75 is where you start to see people expand further past 100 science. So the fact that they're getting a hunt, they're already 100 science around turn 70, I think that's a little above average. But given the way the map kind of played out, it, a lot of them are able to just freely kind of sim up and do and work on that themselves but there wasn't a lot of th this is where the most of the war is right and there's really one-sided uh on on stats here and I'm, I'm astounded here but yeah it's pretty average like the the average stats here i'd say they're a little bit above average to be honest a little bit above average but it, it like i said it comes down to comes down to how people um spawned in you know where they're at like choke points you can plug them up and just kind of sim and if no one's going to aggressively go one way or the other you just make sure you get your stats up Uh, but B, yeah, BTS, I, th I think they came they came back from her, uh, from behind. I think they were behind for a little bit. Then don't say it. Then if you don't want to say, if you don't want to say I told you, then don't say it. But you also know these players better than I do. You, you know these players significantly more than I do. Where's the safety settler at? Not gonna happen. Now, here's, here's one thing I hope doesn't happen, is even though Molly is gonna get uh, removed from the game, I hope that they don't CC, because I have seen in multiple games in the CWC where a, a player gets taken out around this time and that team plays on and actually ends up winning the game. Thank you for the follow, Capita. Capita Oik. Capita Oki. I'd say it like multiple different ways. Just call you Capita. <laughs> Ike. 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 Cappy. Captain. Capita. Capita. Is that like Capital? Like Capital. Or is it more like a To? Capito. B 
BTS back at it again. Bait the settler. <clears throat> Show text. You always want to keep seeing the text. Sorry. I'll leave it there. Yeah, uh, that's that's different in, in many in all languages. It's just a different sound. The the capital goes down next turn or this turn. You know, he had so many of these. Like he really prepared for that. He's, I mean, he's ninety six gold per turn, but I mean, he's twelve hundred already like his team is really helping him funding him 100% of the way for this Spain Spain popped off with the gold made sure that happened he deleted that city he doesn't want any any free diplo favor going to the other team um, Molly's down to one city <clears throat> just countless and he, he didn't spend he got grandmasters he didn't finish well he didn't even finish it he never finished it. Where did they get pillaged? No, he didn't. Yeah, he got pillaged. Okay, that's a, pretty sure he finished it. Got pillaged. Yeah. But he never... He never, um... Never spent any of his faith. On these units. He, he hard... He hard built a lot of these. With work ethic and meeting houses. He just hard built them. Like, he knew from the start that, like... Maybe he didn't want to spend all the faith on it. He hard, he literally, he, he had probably about five or six, I think, pre-builds. But for the most, for all the rest of them, he hard built it. He also lost a few. I mean, these walls mean nothing. He has trebuchets. He'll kill, he'll kill these units. He'll, he'll kill all these units and then just sit in there with the chevichets and then he'll just focus his attention on America. America will be will be more difficult to deal with because he's kind of set up and he has um, that, that extra bonus for being on the same continent. I think it's like plus five on defense. But with Molly gone, that damage is gone. It's done. Bless six and four, bless six and seven. Like, this is going to come down to war moves, realistically. It's going to come down to who, who can do the best war moves. Because they're they're pretty much on par. Like, I mean, he'll have he'll have a few turns of of uh, Curaceers that he can hopefully take out some of their, his pre-builds here. But the, the gold isn't there, right? The gold isn't there. Especially they take him out. Like, they take out their gold, like... Mali is is their goal. Like he is their economy. And without without Mali, like Mali's already gone. Like realistically this game is over. Um even though Mali's not out, this game is over because you got Spain with 191 gold per turn. And he can just keep doing what he's doing on here and just feed into Arabia. Right. Arabia has minus 97 gold per turn, but realistically he could give him 100 gold per turn and he's back to zero. And they're still outperforming them on gold. And he can just keep he can just keep moving in on, on America. And essentially just play out of out America until he's gone. The only way they can salvage this game is like I said, if France France really needs to double down on this culture victory and I think I think at this point it's a little it's a little late. It's a little late to really to go that route. Like your culture is really bad for a culture victory. Push. Um, Gaul, like Gaul's like I'm not sure what Gaul what Gaul's overall goal was or plan, but I think he failed his team. Um, he got, he got some key wonders, prevented them from Rome from getting those. But overall, like, what, what, what is your, when you think of, when you look back on this and you, and you look at it, I just said that, when you look back on it and you look at it, terrible English. 
uh, you got to think, what is your goal? What, what is the purpose for you in this game, right? France, France put work into a culture victory, right? Not enough. Uh, but Gaul, what, what's the purpose of, of what you're doing? Like, you don't have any units to really help out push. You have, you have no means really to push. Um, you have, Spain's kind of blocked off, right? It's hard to push into that. So you gotta, you gotta do more to get gold, right? You have 50 gold per turn. You should, you should have went, he should have went more into the commercial hubs. Um, so France, France should have went hardcore into culture and tried to do their best to, to get that lead. They could have had like three, 400 culture per turn and been really pushing for that culture victory and had that opened up. Um, Gaul, Gaul could have been funneling, uh, Mali gold, right? But I think, I think he played as if Mali was going to be able to do all the gold by himself and, and for the team, and it's just not the case. America, like I said, we already covered America. America um, was able to plug up these chokes, failed to protect Mali from an early horse rush that ended up Mali losing a city out of it, and not, not applying enough pressure to Arabia early on to keep him from snowballing into what we're seeing now. Right, that, that was America's misplay. Um, Spain, they played it. They played it right. They they focused on just getting their stuff up, getting gold going, because they knew that Arabia was going to need it. Hungary, um, kind of the same deal, not as much, but same deal. Made sure he had good gold economy for his team, and simmed up. Made sure he was getting enough diplo favor to. to Block that down. Overall, I think what this comes down to, I, I think BTS had better team management and an understanding of the of the overall situation. Um, yeah, I think that I think that's what it boils down to: just team team cohesion and situational awareness. If I, if I could just sum it up. B BTS wins this game because of those two things. Situational awareness and... Nobody? No. I said it. I already said it like three times. I understand. I don't see any level 2 spies. Surprisingly, no level 2 spies. Um, yeah. This is still a little bit overkill. I think... Remove, yeah, delete this. All right, you just give that up. You shouldn't have done that. Yeah, this city goes down uh, next turn, I believe, because he can. He should be able to move. That nah, doesn't matter. I thought he was gonna move here and shoot, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, that that city's gone next turn. <clears throat> I think it's overkill. You don't need more than two bombards. When you have these three units, you don't need more than two bombards. But he might he might be doing it to get uh experience. Right. Just shoot with all three of these and then hit in. He's gone. Alright, he hit that city, raised it. But your MVP here, Worka. Time to work. And uh he he, he put the work in. No joke. His his name's no joke. Time to work. Like he put in the work. And I, and I, I honestly the out of the entire out of this entire game, probably the most difficult position to be in. And he's the win condition. Like he's he's forcing. Oh, rough riders. No. Oh no. We spoke too soon. Rough Riders. We spoke too soon. I mean, Molly's dead anyway. But I don't know if he'll get much further with Rough Riders.
but the conquistadors are on the way to do nothing. It's one conquistador. There's a level one French spy. Oh, French spy. Yeah. My English is terrible. Yeah, just uh, play it up. I th yeah, I just feel like Rome should have had more cities, right? Could have had way more cities all the way up through here. And then he could have moved over. Yeah. Got more cities up here and then could have squeezed it on America. Miss Petra, oh, Petra's being built, Miss the Pyramid's being built, Great Library, um, I don't think he's being contested. Yeah, I just don't, I don't think Gaul had a, a clear, I guess, a clear path, a clear goal. Uh, they're kind of just, just saying, oh, I want to get all my stats up, and I didn't really go one or the other. I think Gaul, Gaul's a really good leader to to set yourself up for um, a science victory, I think. But the Opedums, the production from those, and you get all the culture from the mines on a new world age, and you can, you, you add in your, your campuses for the science, like, really, uh, really good for, in this position, really good setup for a, a space race. Or, or, instead of space race, just go for nukes. Like, prepare for that. Like, really get those stats up. Get way more cities, get those stats up significantly, and work your way to nukes, and you can come help. But Molly is, is gonna die. Wait, did he move in? Maybe he won't die this turn. Maybe next turn. He's backing off. The the Rough Riders have arrived. He's sixty seven base, yeah, versus Yeah. He's got he's gotta get his own Kurasiris to to manage them. He, which he does. Uh there's still it's still gonna be rough because of the Literally plus what is it plus five on defending continent like that plus five that, that's a free general there, and he has I'm pretty sure he has a general for those. No, he doesn't. Or no, yet yeah. are they re Renaissance? Ballistics, the industrial. Yeah, so it doesn't have a general. Another one have a general for it. I believe. Yeah, another one has a general. This is this is the first industrial era general. America will will end up getting it. Yeah, his his push is off. It's his push is gonna be delayed, and it's gonna be whoever can get the tanks quicker. She's going in the castles, siege tactics. Yeah, the Rough Riders are coming up. Try to get, maybe even get some pillages if he can. I think that's what his goal is. He is, Arabia is projecting for a general. Manages to kill off Mali before the next Congress. That's huge, actually. I think, Let's watch this city fall. Shoot with all your bombards. Might as well. They're not gonna put them onto America.
What are you doing? You're not gonna kill the kill the city? Yields, yields, we got it, we got it. Minus 119 gold per turn. But Spain's like, ah, I got you, man. Don't worry about it. Teamwork, man. Teamwork. There's the city. It's done. Goodbye, Mali. Mali is gone. How much longer will the I mean keep playing here right? you got America Rough Riders here coming at you there to save the day yeah it's gonna be rough to push into this on, on other side other side's gonna be rough to push in no matter what All right, what are they looking like? So they're a little bit low on gold. I mean, the uh, KGB is low on gold. And I think that's that's gonna be the deciding factor here uh, for the overall, it's just the gold. The overall gold is not there. They can't sustain a war. All right, Gaul isn't putting any pressure on anything. He's not providing enough gold per turn. Neither is France, right? The, but France is doing the culture victory thing. So that that's that's good. Um, he is getting units though, but it, it's a little too late. I mean, what's he gonna do? Try to tunnel in to this? Um, who's controlling what? Hmm. I th think he got a general. He did. Arabia got a general. So he has the, he has an industrial general. Where did he put it? All right, he's got nationalism. America gets nationalism too. Minor victory. He'll be able to he'll be able to hit into these a little bit. Oof, that's uh. Yeah, he'll he'll be able to he'll be able to do some damage, at least for a turn. Think, back this in, upgrade that. Ooh yeah. I mean, he's not going to be able to get in there and do any, any damage to that front, but... Remember, he still has... I'm pretty sure he still has all this faith. Yeah, he still has all this faith that he can buy units with if he needed it. But he redu significantly reduced his uh, maintenance cost by combining those units. Hmm. Gaul's going to lose a city, seems. Yeah, he forward settled that. Uh, probably not smart, but... He threw it there anyway. He has units. He he has units. He's planning on doing something with them. Probably probably has a city there because he's maybe he'll get an engineer and try to tunnel and like line infantry push in, maybe. I don't know. But he did he did plug up these chokes. The best that he can. Um from Spain. Alright, field cannon hit, smack, smack. Oh. 
Gotta be quicker with those. You gotta be quicker with the moves. You gotta be quicker. Gotta be quicker. Well, they, they conceded. That's the game. Though its face may change throughout the ages. BTS, they win it. History is written from the hand of the victor. BTS wins it again. GG's. Good game. Thanks, Lame God. Thanks for popping in. Um, yeah. That was a, a fun game to watch. Uh, unfortunate, we had KGB, two, two players, completely free sim. Um, you know, they, they played, like I said, everyone played exceptionally well. Uh, both teams, they played tremendously. But at the end of the day, you let one of the really good players get to where he needed to go with his, his uh, snowball and he lost a player because of it. Um, someone once told me that a lot of these games come not, they, they don't really, they're not really determined by your best player, but more so determined by your weakest player. Um, right? You're only as strong as your weakest link as the old saying goes. And I think in this situation, Molly Molly played um, not terribly, but didn't play optimally. Uh, made some key mistakes, and America made some key mistakes. A lot on top of that, you know. Um, so that and that led to Molly being eliminated from the game too early, which led to the the early concede. But no doubt, no, not taking away from anybody, everyone played exceptionally well. They just, like I said earlier, it breaks down to BTS. They think they had better team cohesion and situational awareness, and that was it. It's literally what it comes down to. Hopefully, KGB can learn from their mistakes here and realize, hey, they got to do some, make some changes here and there. But overall, it was a fantastic game. Let's um, go back to the main menu here. We will, I think, I think, uh, who, who shall I raid? I think raiding someone is important here. Hmm. I guess we'll, we could raid under, under seems like a good raid. Uh, uh we'll raid Peppermint Butler. Show him some love. But with that being said, uh, while this is going on, I always forget. Let's go back through. Uh, Ike, thank you for your follow. I'll give another dab. Um, Anazin, thank you for the follow. But by Elie, thank you for your follow. Kimski, thank you for your follow. Louise Ord, thank you for your follow. Tyen, thank you for your uh, follow. Zamarik, thank you for your follow. Um, Braun, another pulled in that gifted tier one sub. He uses channel points, and the, I think there were I think there was one off stream. Loco Loco Naru, uh, thank you for your follow. And that's it. That's everything for for this stream. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, I think same time tomorrow with another cast and as well on Friday uh, tomorrow tomorrow on Friday I believe not not one on Thursday Thursday will be off but yep thank you guys so much